Hello, my name is David Valdez, and today I would like to present uh, solving linear systems by graphing. And uh, for this first uh, video, all I want to do is hit on some of the major concepts, the ideas, and then in other videos I will get into more specific examples. So let me start with the XY graph. Now this lesson, I should say, is assuming that you already know how to graph lines. And I'm assuming that because we're talking about solving systems, not just graphing lines. So please watch uh, the other videos if you're interested in learning how to graph just lines. So we know how to graph lines. We're talking about a linear system. Linear means line. Linear system implies more than one equation. Um, I'm going to focus in on two equations, so two lines. And we could have a couple lines that look like this, for example. Let's just say here's line number one in our system, and another one comes in like that. Okay, so remember these lines are representing equations uh, conceptually. What I want to know is what is the solution to this system of equations? Now, remember that every point on a line is a solution to the equation that generated that line. That's true for this blue one, it's true for this yellow one. So really what we're asking ourselves is, at which point do they share the same solution? Sometimes systems of equations are called simultaneous equations um, because you're looking for a solution that all the equations share at the same time or simultaneously. So conceptually then, we can say right here is the point where they have exactly the same uh, solution, whatever point that is, the point where they cross. This has some x value and some y value, and if we were to plug those values into the equations that generated these lines, both equations would show that that is a solution. Some of the vocabulary that goes along with that is the following. We can say that this system is consistent. Consistent. Okay. And we're going to say that whenever there is a solution to the system. We're going to say consistent. And in this case, we're also going to say the lines are independent. Independent. Okay. So consistent and independent. Um, what I'm most concerned with as an instructor is not necessarily if you remember the consistent and independent part uh, personally, but I want to know, can you find those values that constitute the solution? Um, however, it is good to know some of the vocabulary that goes along with this. Let me give you another example. So here's another conceptual Cartesian graph or coordinate system. And let me put up another couple lines. Let's say I've got one right here. And let's just say we graph the other one right on top of it. Okay, so that's how I represent one line right on top of the other. I just draw these double arrows on both sides. Now, what are we going to say as far as solutions to this system? Since every point on the line is a solution to that line, it appears, and is true, that these lines share every point in common. Therefore, for this case, there are actually an infinite number of solutions. Infinite solutions. I do need to add something to this because there are also an infinite number of points on the graph that are not solutions. Any point out here that's not on one of those lines, any point out here, those are not solutions, and there are an infinite number of them. So which infinite solutions is important to address? And the way we do that is we say that the infinite solutions are any point on one of these lines. So they are constrained by uh, the equation that produced this line. And I'll show you how to do that more specifically using set notation in a different video. But so far, let me just say infinite solutions constrained by the equation of the line. I'm using the singular here because, in essence, they're the same line anyway. I could say constrained by either equation. Um, however, both equations lead to the same graph, so that's why I state it here in the singular. 
There are a couple more vocabulary terms, just like this consistent and independent. We can say that this system is consistent. Consistent, again, meaning that there is a solution. In this case, there are infinite solutions. Um, but we're also going to say dependent. Dependent. And in this case, dependent uh, is referring to the fact that they are the same line. Okay. Let me give you one more conceptual case. Here's another baby xy graph. And that might look something like this. There's one line. And there's another one. Now I'm trying to draw these two lines parallel. If they're parallel, they will never touch, which means, in fact, they never share a common solution. So remember, we're not looking for solutions for a single equation. We're looking for solutions to the system of equations. Since they share no points in common, we're going to say that this, this system has no solutions. No solutions. Now, there is a, a set notation way of saying no solutions, and um, I can get into that later. Uh, or we could just simply say no solutions. And there is a little bit of vocabulary that goes along with this also. Since there are no solutions, we're going to say this is inconsistent. Inconsistent. And we're also going to say that the lines are independent. There we go. So whenever you have the case where the lines are parallel, you're looking at no solutions. And as far as vocabulary goes, the system is inconsistent and independent. Stay tuned for more examples to get a little bit more specific with graphing linear systems uh, and solving them that way.